Sophie here at Crafters TV. Oh, it's absolutely lush being with you. We have had a fabulous day so far. And if you have just tuned in, do not worry. You haven't missed out on anything. Because if you are into your colouring, if you're just starting out in colouring, we have got you covered. If you've been colouring for months, nay, years, we have still got you covered. And what is so fantastic about the show today is we really do have not only demonstrations, but also products to take you from day dot to day 100 and dot in your coloring and crafting path. This show is perfect no matter where you're at in the coloring. So it's a great time for you to be tuned in. My name is Becky. It's really lovely to be with you. And we have got some real treats and fabulous demos on the way to really inspire you. So if you do fancy getting out your tricolors, then this is the one for you. We have got Spectrum Noir today. If you don't know that brand, get ready to fall in love because I tell you what it's quality product you are going to be spending a small amount of money for a really high grade item so we have got the tricolors coming up for you which anybody can use and if you are in the mood to grab them out maybe you've already got them at home get ready to sit down relax and start to color along because our craft expert this evening is the wonderful Debbie Fisher wow what's what an intro I'm impressed Yes, Becky. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Hi, everyone, or morning, afternoon, wherever you're watching us from and whatever time you're watching us from, uh, stay fixed because we're going to have the most amazing show. We've got the best pens ever, the Tri Color Aqua Pens, which are amazing. So you are getting three colors, blendable colors that you can use with water, you can use with your glycerin, you can use with your ink pads, you can use with your sparkle pens. We have so many things on the show and it's almost like a floral show. So it's just my favorite. Thing. I love flowers being able to create these beautiful designs um, just doing your I love that how Me beautiful too. is that you're my best bud I mean <laughs> how beautiful is that we have got the monthly stamps the birthday month stamps so there's someone uh, or some there is a stamp for everybody's birthday throughout the year but also think of all those special occasions so when we're looking at Mother's Day when we're looking at anniversaries and weddings all these types of cars are going to be beautiful but if you just want to sit down have a cup of tea and uh, a piece of cake we've got that for you as well but the main item on the show and I'm going to bring in one of our pens is the aqua pens these are amazing they're like our tri blend where they've got the tri uh, brush but these are aqua ones uh, and you'll see they're different colors the great thing about these is these are colors that are different but are going to work incredibly well when you blend them all together so stay tuned we have a color me happy be special. I tell you what, if you have ever looked at finishing coloured pieces and you've thought, how have they made that look so professional? It's probably the right products and I have the right products for you. Okay. Are you somebody who wants to really get into this? Maybe you want to give it a go. Maybe you want to give it a try, but you don't want to break the bank. Because let's be completely honest with each other here, right? If you're going to be trying something, you don't necessarily want to fork out a huge amount of money straight away because you don't know if you're going to love it. Well, I have so got you covered this afternoon. We are bringing to you your Tri Color Starters Collection. Now, this has got truly all that you need to get started. I have got for you elements here that you can craft amazing pieces with, whether that be memory books, whether that be scrap journals, whether that be cards for your loved ones. In here, we're gonna be getting, uh, we're gonna be giving to you Stamp and Die Collection, which creates this really cool penny slider, which definitely will make you smile. I've also got in here the selection of your stamps and dies that create wonderful banners. You're going to be using them time and time again, trust me. We're also bringing to you specific papers in here, and of course, some of your tribe and pens, and 55 elements you are getting in total. And by the way, if the watercolor card, it's 15 sheets that you're getting in there. Watercolor card, if you are brand new, you might be thinking, Oh, I'm no good at watercolouring. Well, don't worry. With this product, you get the effect without needing all of the stress or clear up that actually sometimes watercolour does because watercolour can get out of hand sometimes, right? Not with these. So in this collection, you have truly got 
all that you need to get started in your crafting. And today it is only £30 or $40. That would make an astonishing gift, just so you know. If you would like to get that for someone, you are gonna definitely raise a smile. Maybe you could do some virtual crafting, why not? As well as that collection, which has the tri-colors within it, I've got some more elements coming up for you that I will show you as we go into the show. If you are brand new, just as a little reminder, you do get 20% off your order today and you get some bonus points. I'll tell you more about that later, but it's a great show to get involved with. And don't forget, if you've got any questions, get us on social. It's really easy to do. You can find us on YouTube, you can find us on Facebook. Do just feel free to get in touch with us. There's plenty of you in today, which is lovely to see you. I want to bring to you a collection that has been so popular. It's like so popular that if it was a text message, it'd have like seven O's. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's this collection here. And what you're going to be getting is all of these. And again, we're going to talk about these later. So I'm not going to bore you with all the deets of them now. We're going to go into these later. But you've got the tri-colour markers, 12 elements there. And you get the Spectrum Noir wallet as well. I want to show you the colours that you're getting in these because it's kind of, um, it's always a little bit magical um, what you're getting in here. So each of the pens, and you're getting three different pens in each, but the three different pens have three different colours. So these are the collections you're going to get. We are bringing to you loads in here, Botanical Naturals, your Cool Marie, your Rich Floral. What I really like about these... There you go, Colour, um, you're colouring as well, your primary colours. What I love about these is it is almost uh, artistry meets alchemy. That's what these are about, that alchemy and artistry coming together. It gives you a pro finish really easily. And we will be demoing with these shortly. So do not forget to uh, stick with us so that you can be inspired by these. You get all of those sets, all of those colours for just £36 or $53. That's nearly £16 saving or nearly twenty. $25 saving. This is the best ever price. So if you've ever been thinking, okay, I do fancy it, but should I, shouldn't I, shouldn't I? Today is your day because it's the best ever price that we've done. So not only are you getting something great, you're getting a great bargain as well. And you're going to get some great, oh, it sounds a bit like Tony the Tiger then. <laughs> That's great! Uh, you are going to get some great inspiration now from the wonderful Debbie. Oh, yes, absolutely. I do love the Colour Me Happy shows. But actually, I want to show you a quick demo. So I'm going a little bit off piece, but uh, it's a really good demo just to show how good our ink pads are. So you get the ink pad. In, there's a bundle with the watercolour card uh, and the ink pad plus some dies. Um, it's our flagstone ink pad it tells you what it is it's waterproof but it also shows you the paintbrush on the front so you can't get it wrong I love this that a quick sight without even having to read I don't even have to put my glasses on I can see <laughs> that it's got a paintbrush on there and that's what I'm going to use and just to make the difference I'm going to just bring in my um, alcohol one uh, and the difference with that one as you can see as an alcohol pen on the front so throughout the show because we're using water-based products we're going to be using this one but I want to show show you this really quick demo and I'm going to bring I've got my water pot at the side mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you just how good our inks are so I'm going to stamp all this up I've took my stamping platform away because I'm just going to stamp straight down onto here I'm going to have my water ready and I'm going to tip it straight on top oh because I want you to see that amount of big a pool of water uh, <laughs> and not one piece is running. Not one piece. So that's wow. really, I mean, these are amazing. I have never had an ink pad like this, which will literally do everything that it says it does. And it won't Jeez, bleed onto it? there whatsoever. So that's a really good demo. Don't worry that I didn't stamp that properly. I'm not worried about that. I just wanted you to see how good the ink pads are. So my next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring back my stamping platform and we're going to actually ink up this stamp. Okay. So if you're wondering which one it is, it's the Fresh Florals. This is a great starter one for me. I think it, ha it adds uh, some real depth in here that you can have a good play with your pens. Really great one for colouring. So I'm just going to make sure I go all around my image and stamp that out. 
and that gives us that crisp image. I mean, that is beautiful. Such a lovely image. And I'm just going to bring in one of my pens. Now, I've got the tricolour. Now, you can see the difference with this one. Now, normally, we would give you the same colour family, but we would actually have them as a light, a medium and a dark. Yeah. These work differently. Because they're watercolour, it means that we've took all the hard work out of you. We know that the orange, the green and the purple will blend beautifully. We can use all these colours. But what I love about this particular colour is we've got everything to create our flower. We've got the green to do our stems and leaves with and then we've got the purple and the orange that we can blend together which is what we're going to do. Ah. So let's bring these to the side. I do, I can't even tell you how much I love our tri-blend range. The fact that we have all these in one place, it, it just blows my mind, it's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna bring in my water pot and I've got a, a thin brush. So I'm not sure what size this one is. Let me have a look. I haven't got my glass on, so apologies. Um, turn it the right way to see if I've got it. It's, uh, I, I'm trying to see it and I can't see it. So, oh, hang on, I've seen a number. Two, number three. oh I don't know I don't know why I'm looking yeah you'll find it <laughs> have a guess I'm gonna pass it over just why do my color in and we will see exactly the size that we're gonna use here he is I say John having a look <laughs> oh he's as bad as me he needs his glasses too <laughs> so I'm just gonna start to add a bit of color into these stems here just passing them out just till John's uh, managed to I think we are all blind in here. We all know that we need our glasses. I, I'll walk over. John, hold it out. I'll have a nosy. I'm going to use this one to start with. Six. A six. Well, actually, when you were all yeah. saying two, I was thinking to myself, it can't be that because that seems a smaller, smaller yeah. brush. But I think it is a higher number, yeah. But it's one. It's not the very small brush that we do. It's the next one up. So I've just used my little spark. So as you can see, we can use a sparkle. It's a six. So we can do this, like to to pull it the water out and have that beautiful ombre. We can then scribble onto our glass mat, and we can pick that up as well. So picking this up, we can paint directly on. So I'm going to come in from the tips now here and just bring that down. I mean, you can see from just a really small lay down. And what I'm also gonna do is come in with the other color and we're gonna just start to blend these two together. So bringing this one into the middle, creating that sort of reddish color and just continue to blend those in. Oh, it looks gorgeous already, doesn't it? Yeah, it's so amazing what we can do with that because they're so forgiving. Yeah. So they ble they bleed beautifully into each other, and you get the most amazing results. So just pick that up. Let's do some more of the orange at the top. I've got loads of people messaging in saying that they've got their tricolours out and they're going to be colouring along with you. Oh, I love that. Absolutely. Don't forget, send in your pictures. We love a good craft nose. We really do. Uh, yeah, loads of people. Fred saying the uh, tricolour markers triple your fun. I like oh, that. I like that. Yes. Val says, hi Becky and Debbie, I have the Tri-Bend watercolour inset, so easy to use, we'll be colouring this week's downloads from the website whilst I'm watching. Oh, brilliant, Perfect. that's so good, yeah, so good. Um, hang on, Georgina's saying that she would like a point of view if you are crafting right now. Are you <laughs> tri-colouring right now? We would like a point of view picture. <laughs> and don't forget also, if you missed out on the show earlier on, our text in was, if you were a Disney character, it could be a villain, princess, a uh, prince, what do you think their craft would be? I want to find out more of them as well, please. They were amazing earlier, the suggestions Great that they ideas. were coming out with. Yeah, really amazing. I shouldn't be so shocked because they're all so imaginative. You know, if they're all crafty, yeah. they're just so imaginative. So all I'm doing now is I'm taking it and just using my brush to give that beautiful effect. So I'm doing a bit more of a darker color, more than a washed out color. So I'm just showing different variations of how you can use them. It's incredible how that saturation changes, isn't it? Yeah, so much so. So if you really want that more uh, vivid look and keep that color contrast, yeah. um, then yes, just use it more um, with less water, should yeah. I say. 
and then we can keep going on to there and then what we can do so this time where we've blended it in I'm then going to go in with that orange and do exactly the same but coming in from the opposite direction so it's just different techniques of how you can do it so picking that orange up now and then we're going to just bring that down and look at that we're doing our really vivid red in the second in the middle and just two completely different looks. So if you want it more washed down, if you want it to um, look more like a watercolor, like you've painted it. I also have to say, Becky, these yeah. pens are amazing for hand drawing. So hand, um, so if you're someone that really likes to just do pictures or uh, doodling, as a lot of people do, yeah. these are great for that because um, the brush nib, although it's a brush nib, it has a really fine nib on it. So you can really do some detailed work. So as soon as I've done this one, uh, I'm going to bring uh, some, a couple of pictures in, which just look amazing. But I'm liking the look of this one. It looks beautiful. Anyone else thinking, oh, I just fancy licking that. Licking? Yeah, it's got like, like a... Like a lollipop. Uh, yeah, like a... What's the two-tone one? I'm not thinking of a dib-dab. Do you know the chewy sweets? That's what it reminds me of, but I can't think what it is. Is it a refresher that are those kind of colours? Uh, yeah, but not together. Oh, right. Uh, okay. I'm thinking more that looks like... Um, I meant Drumstick. Their, drumstick. I drumstick. was just going to say... Well, actually, I was thinking of... Um, what are they called? Um... The little, they were, there was black jacks, which were Ooh, the black yeah, sweets, goodies, and then yeah. there was Always fruit salad. Fruit salad. That's what I think That's that the looks one I'm like. Thinking yes. Of. Yeah. Black jacks. Yes. Oh, yeah. You can't eat one of them before you come on air because your tongue looks funny. <laughs> it goes like purpley black, doesn't it? Who was, someone was telling me yesterday, because I had some fresh pineapple. Ooh. Oh, it was so good. You know when something is so juicy, it was really cold out of the fridge. Ooh. And it was delicious. And Ben, it was Ben, and he kept sort of squinting at me when I was eating it. Right. And, um, and he said it's because just even the look of it makes him go like, he's, he almost, he doesn't like it. Really? And I can't think of the word he used, which made his mouth go funny. Oh. But at, and I knew what he meant because when I eat a really strong cheese, yeah, it's like it grabs you, doesn't it? It makes you yeah. tingle in the in your cheeks. Yeah, Rupia, yeah. And that's what he says pineapple does to him. How but funny. yeah, and I was like, oh, I don't. I just think it's really juicy. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. Like a what? A lemon. Yeah, a lemon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, now a lemon is different. That's like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> like, ooh. <laughs> hey, that's a new profile picture for you. <laughs> so, I'm not going to go any further with those ones. What was I just going to show you? I was going to just show you something. and it's gonna, Oh, the pictures. You were going to show us the pictures, the yeah. The pictures. So, let's bring them in. But, just for starters, they're the sort of vivid colours you can get from there. Now, I'm going to hold these up. Look how gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, that is hand done. So by putting uh, this onto the glass mat and then using it to just create those feathers looks amazing. But what about doing something completely freehand where you're just doing these splodges, because that's all that is, that is splodges, and then using our art liners to do your twigs and the stems in between. It looks absolutely incredible. And what these pens do for you, they make you become the artist. Uh, so you, and, and it's so simple, because because you are getting artist quality products um, at actually really reasonable prices. It's fabulous. Thank you so much for inspiring us with that. It is your opportunity to grab these and absolutely do feel free, especially with that best price that we've got for you. We have got the tri-color marker collection with the 12 elements. It does come with the wallet as well. So again, just as a reminder, because I'll flip one of these over just to uh, so you can properly see it. You're getting the three pens in each, but as you can see, there's three tones in each of them. So you are getting plenty in here. You've got your wonderful neutrals in that one. So it's going to give you that really outdoorsy feel. We have also got in the collection your great outdoors. These for me, I'm looking at them and I'm thinking of sort of wonderful seaside towns, you know. I've also got in this collection your colour basics. And what we mean by that really is your primary colours. So you've got really lovely, bold primary colours within there. 
that are going to be lovely if you do want to do say rainbow inspired pieces and then this for me your floral meadow anybody else at the moment when you're driving around looking out into the meadows out into the fields and you can see the beautiful bright yellow flowers from the oil you can see maybe in the distance there's loads of them um, sort of bluebells coming up near me in bluebell woods these are the kind of colors i'm seeing there and actually i think this would go sensationally well with some of the products that we had earlier on when we launched for you the new apertures and we actually use quite a few of of these colors with the aperture stamps especially the wild bloom so if you did grab them this is a great one if you didn't they're still available on the website so do treat yourself so those are all your colors that you're going to be getting there and you're going to be getting the wallet as well that's not all we've got though i'm also going to be bringing to you today some stamps and these ones are your scene stamps and dies if you are brand new this is a collection that you are going to use over and over all of those ones you're getting 92 elements 92 blimey that's brilliant now i am no carol vorderman who by the way is like a mathematician if you're in america but surely that's only what like 60p per product or something that's amazing yeah anyway uh, you've got 92 elements within there 55 pounds 93 or 69.65 i've also got your birthday month collection now what I would say to you is, although it says birthday month, what we're actually referring to here is they don't have to be used as birthday cards, of course. You can use them for whatever you wish. Those ones were available for you then. We've gone on now to the collection with the stamps. 21 elements in this one. And that's the lovely pot of tea, etc. that you've seen uh, Debbie showing us earlier on. Um, we've also got for you some photopolymer stamps. If you want a crisp finish to your designs, then this is the type of stamp you want to get. These are the ones that we were demoing with earlier. And as you saw, they were easy to work with, gave you a nice crisp finish. And because they're not like the big block wooden ones that you can't see through, you get a great stamp every single time, which means you use less time and less ink. To get all of that for only $4.99 or $6.95, you can't say fairer. I've also got for you your stamp collection that is the acrylic roll, rose, sorry. You're getting 10 different elements in there, including lots of sentiments, including but not limited to on your special day. I've also got the peony blooms in this one for you. Really big, bold texture to those. A very voluptuous flower, I would say. I'm bringing to you as well your Brighten My Day. Oh, can you think of anyone that that would make smile? Yeah, me too. It'd be great. You've got the Brighten My Day collection here. Several elements with that. Again, $4.99 or $6.99. Hello, lovely. We're bringing to you next up. These ones have got that really effective lily-like look. Of course, colour the lilies, whatever you want. Different meaning for a different colour. And I'm bringing to you your Bloom with Happiness as well. These ones are going to be perfect for you if you did want to recreate the card that we showed you earlier on. So there's plenty for you to get your teeth into there. We have mentioned to you earlier on that I've got some of the textured paste coming up for you as well today and i'm bringing to you something that would go perfectly with those and that comes in the form of stencils now i'm about to bring to you our largest stencils that we bring to you which are our 12 by 12s now again if you are new you may well remember stencils from when you were younger you might stick them on your wall and maybe create like a nice stencil border actually if you get the right gemini um, um cutter die cutter you can use these to emboss which creates texture you can use these to make mixed media pieces which are 3d hey you could use these for your coloring if you wanted to i'm going to bring to you a range in here and this is a really good price because they do so much as i've said i'm starting off with your wood grain anyone else looked on pinterest etsy instagram and seen photographs taken against design and backgrounds like this they're everywhere, aren't they? So I would say it's sort of a very Instagrammable background, great for photography. Even better here though, because as I said, you can emboss them to give that texture and you can use whatever color you want. Bring into you as well your natural stone. 
Is it just me or when you look at that, does it make you think about maybe, I don't know, swimming in a sort of Caribbean pool? And this to me almost looks like the um, sort of bottom of that pool, that wonderful bright blue. I think it's very happy feeling. Not only have I got that, I've got falling hearts. This is a wonderful motif because you've got that sort of almost ad hoc texture to it, but you could just use one or two of these if you wanted, because you can just select the different hearts. So you don't have to use them all in one. You could just use one heart specifically that maybe goes with a stamp or a die that you already have. I've got for you too, your sketched swirls. Love this one. I think it's got really wonderful texture to it. Could you imagine doing this with a little bit of matte and layering? Maybe with a design that was sort of oceanic based. Maybe you could do something with um, boats, for example, or a seascape. As well as that one, I'm going to bring to you a, up, your dots and spots. So your dots and spots I'm bringing to you here. Lovely if you want to create those textured designs. That'd be great for borders and posters, wouldn't it? With it as well, I've got your deco tiles. I really like this one. Anyone who's really into geometric that is really on trend at the moment, isn't it? This one's going to be ooh, great for you. Again, imagine using your different colours on this and maybe doing a gradient. Oh, that's going to be eye-catching. I've got for you your Chesterfield leather as well. So when you think about Chesterfield couches, maybe you think of luxury, you think of high end, you can get that look in a stencil. And last but by no means least, I have your Moroccan tile. This one for me has almost got a uh, sort of 3D magic eye kind of feel to it. I can imagine blending into the center, maybe an ombre color. Basically what I've got here is I've got things that I can imagine using for really modern pieces, really classical pieces, really vintage pieces, really kind of fun everyday, you know, seven year old to 78 year old pieces. There is a little bit of something for everyone in here. If you do want to seize the moment, because remember you can use these for so much, but once you've got them, so long as you clear them off and you use them correctly, they're going to last and last and last. So long as you look after them, you've got them forever and you've got them today for just £47.94 or $59.70, which for the size of these and versatility is bob on. And if you're thinking, Bex, I like them, but I don't know how I'm going to use them. Oh, don't worry. We've got the fish over in Crafter's Corner. I'm with you. <laughs> I love it. I've definitely taken that nickname. I love it, the yeah. fish. <laughs> uh, I adore these. You know what? If I could tell you to get anything that's going to last you for almost ever, uh, go for the stencils because these are an amazing price, but they're amazing what you can do with them. You can emboss your st stencils in your Gemini. You can stencil through them in so many different things. We're going to do some really sort of quick powerful demos uh, with about three different mediums to go through them just to see what we can do with them it's a color me happy show we want to use as many colors as many mediums as we possibly can and these stencils are definitely the ones that do the trick I mean how beautiful is this just using your ink pads through them these designs absolutely are screaming to be used the actual woodland one the, the, the sorry the bark one woodwork, is just yeah. gonna lend itself to so so many different things all your backgrounds think about and as you can see I'm showing you fairly small projects uh, considering they're a large 8 by 8 stencil uh, they're large because you can then do your beautiful stencils the other thing you can do with them don't forget your home decor I mean just mm, using right. one of them you can almost do a patchwork wall couldn't you using your stencils just mask them out and then use I mean look at this <gasps> one wow. I know it's just absolutely absolutely stunning you would never think that was a stencil and I love this idea so this uh, is the yeah. stencil embossed but you've then got some of them that have been left embossed but some of them that have been uh, glue applied and then uh, glitter on the top oh, I mean it's just beautiful nice. and that one you said about as well it reminds me actually of do you remember you might remember tea bag folding years ago let us know if you remember that but this designs on here reminds me of tea bag folding yeah. uh, and I used to love that so and then we've got some bits in here where we've got that dotty background which actually looks like pattern paper it's amazing right now for the fun bits I've got some demos lined up and we're gonna I'm just gonna pop my samples to the side uh, which should we start first let's start less messier and we'll get messier as we go along yes. 
So I'm taking Walter Colour cardstock and first of all because we've obviously got the pens on the show I'm going to be using one of my aqua pens. So I'll try blend, try colour aqua. I'm just going to pop this onto here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scribble this onto my mat. So I'm just going to use the one colour and then what I'm going to do is use these in the demo after, as we go along the next uh, hour or so. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to bring in some glycerin. Now this one is just vegetable glycerin. You can use the one that you put into cakes uh, or that you get at the um, ones that you get at the, ke at the chemist, yeah. ones that you get in baking. It's just glycerin. Uh, what it is, it makes every single one of your pens into an ink pad. Now I'm just putting a little dot, I'm putting a couple of little dots because you really don't need a lot of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find myself an ink pad. There we go. Let's just use my square one. I'm going to use this square ink pad. You can use any one you've got. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab this in so I'm putting a little bit and I'm putting a little bit to start with making sure I pick all that up you can always pick more on afterwards but better to have less first and then I'm just going to pick that up so I'm actually making all my pens into ink pads and then when we go on to here we just go through and create that smooth blend ah. it's so so good so I'm going to go in because I can feel it's not enough glycerin and then I'm just going to pick up the rest of that and then we can just go round the stencil and just create that beautiful blend now I've not glued mine down or held it down I'm not too worried about uh, putting too much uh, pressure down I'm not too worried about uh, where it's going to go I don't need the full amount we're going to use a part of this on our demo afterwards but I'm going to keep going because this is where you can see that gradation of color yeah. coming through so let's just put my hand down If you want to, um, if you want to fill the whole thing, uh, use a piece of tissue because if you start, I'm going to do it. If I put my finger over there, you're going to start, and that will come through as that dries. You'll see your fingerprints. Oh, I get you. Yeah. Okay. So if you just want to uh, be able to uh, not put any marks onto there, but look at that, we're getting that real pale colour then coming through. And actually, it's only when we take that off, you'll see how beautiful that actually looks. Oh, I mean, it gives hey. us just, yeah, just the most amazing ba background. I love that we can do that with our stencils. Yeah, so that's one, using your pens and being able to do that. Fabulous. We've then got another one here. Now, <gasps> this is one that I love working with. We're going to lay this on. Now, I have put a piece of glue onto here because what we're going to do is we're going to bring in something I'm very excited excited about oh go on yes so on the show we've started to do our amazing paste so textured paste from our cosmic shimmer range these are just big pots of mousse that you do want to eat <laughs> but do not eat because we're going to use them on our crafting because we're doing the bark i'm going to use in fact shall we mix it up a bit yes, shall please. we just let's just do a couple of um extras so yeah i'm just going to turn that over just so i know i've got the right colors for you and we can see them so we've got a deep red and we've got the royal gold apps i mean look at these mousses these are whipped to perfection they're amazing mousses they're really soft now I have got a tool so my tool is just like a it's these are called a palette knife uh, you will find them online but actually there's lots of things you can use just a, a normal a knife like a, a butter, butter knife, knife would be good uh, just to put over the top so what I'm going to do to start off with let's start with one you're going to take it onto the back of your knife that's what you want to do not on the front of your knife you're going to work uh, on the back and you're just not you're not even going to be too careful we're just going to glide over because you can take that off afterwards but you don't want to put too much pressure you almost want to keep your your knife or your uh, whatever you're using your palette knife uh, fairly um, flat and you just want to go over where all that is we don't want to work that too much and we're just gonna push that over a little bit like marmite on your toast you don't want to yes. go too hardcore with your marmite do you you want skimming do you know what? You've actually just reminded me. I bought some Mai Mai a few weeks ago. Right. And, uh, and I forgot about it. It's been in the cupboard and I've literally forgot. Oh, well, there you go. My thing at the moment is go raspberry on. jam on crumpets. 
Oh, that sounds oh, good. Oh, honestly, it's so good. So good. What do you have on your marmite? Do you go for marmite and butter? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, if you don't I'm know what just marmite gonna... is, by the way, it is a yeast spread, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah it actually it's not is. The most yes. attractive name. And it is a love it. or hate, isn't it? You Apparently either love so. it or you hate it. So I love it. Right, so then I'm going to go in with my red uh, and I'm going to uh, just do exactly the same, but we're just going to blend these colours now okay. to, into each other because I'm not going to put, and just be careful because you don't want to uh, put any of this back in when it's mixed. No. So, but I haven't really mixed any at the moment. And we're just trying to make sure that we put all that we need on. Now, a lot of people put this onto their mat. Yes. Um, but I like to just do it out of the tub and put little on to start with. Because I think that works rather than put it onto my mat, having another surface to clean. Uh, and then I don't use too much. Okay, but what you don't want to do is put it in if you're going to contaminate. So no, if you course. feel like you're really going to like mix these two colours together, just keep them uh, separate and don't... Um, you could, in fact, get yourself another little container and uh, put them. start mixing your colours. Mixing your own colours. Yeah, mixing yeah. your own colours, yes. So you can get little glass jars and um, yeah, do that. But this is a really nice technique to do. Uh, and it's fun. And what it does, it also raises your whatever image you've got underneath. So it makes it amazing to work with. So I'm not worried if I've missed any. I just wanted to make sure that we popped all those bits on. I'm excited then, to see this because I'll be honest with you, it looks a right mess. It looks a right mess, yeah, doesn't it? I yeah, you're right. It looks to. a right mess. So I'm just going to bring this Ooh. bit up and then we're going to bring our opposite side up what? and then we've got that <gasps> beautiful bark work going on You're, it just looks so in cool. it's so cool isn't it being able to mix those colors uh, it just looks absolutely incredible do you remember yeah. doing tongue and groove in the 90s yes it's a bit like yes that, it but is it looks realistic but this look i mean you get a beautiful wow. shine on there i mean these stencils i'm not kidding you are out of this world yeah. and the price Price is out of this world they look incredible I've just done a quick heart one earlier where we put those hearts Aww. on and you can see that's really sort of going over the top there so that's our second one so we've now done our um, uh, cosmic shimmer textured paste we've now done our uh, glycerin with our pens uh, and now we're going to do a bit of heat embossing so the final one we've got here and I'm going to bring in another one of our products uh, what we've got new uh, what I absolutely I'm a massive everybody knows I'm a massive um, heat, uh, heat resistant I love heat embossing mm. so embossing powders but these embossing powders are just amazing because what we've got here this one is called uh, granite uh, is it granite yes it's granite or granite 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 yeah granite uh, and what it is if I open it up look at all these colors that we've got in here I mean absolutely amazing it's got specks of blue gray white I mean it really is so beautiful I love this one and then we've got different ones so if I just bring in some of the other ones that we've got that are mixed I mean look at this one this is gorgeous I mean you've got reds and blacks and creams in this one so you're going to get different flecks you've then got your uh, reds this one's beautiful look at this reds and blacks oh I'm quite liking that one and the sort of pale whites mm. so you're getting all these gorgeous colors in them honestly you will not be disappointed with any of these that you get because there's so many different ones we've got now I can't tell you how incredibly happy I am that we now have our cosmic sh shimmers on the show they're amazing Brilliant. So, what I'm going to do, we've got a very dirty pad here, but it doesn't matter, it's still sticky. Uh, it's our watermark ink. When you, If you go for this, uh, they'll be on the website, it will come to you white. But after you've inked a few inks and made some uh, mixed media, yours will turn this colour as well. But honestly, it doesn't matter. Because we're putting embossing powder on it, all I'm going to do is I'm going to press it in to my stencil. And I'm just holding it down because I want to make sure that that wetness of the uh, ink pad is going through. 
and I can see, you probably can't see it, well you might do as we come down, it's actually because my, I've got a dirty ink pad, dirty ink pad, <laughs> I don't know why I said it, dirty, <laughs> it's Sounds dirty. a bit Liverpoolian. I know, exactly, I like dirty, it. we've nice. been too much with our Adam, isn't it, that's what it is, yeah, <laughs> that's what he would say, it's dirty, <laughs> I would understand that, <laughs> so you can see it's starting to, and if actually if I just move that up, we can see that that's all going yeah, through there, which is beautiful. It. So I'm then going to carry on down. In fact, I'm only going to do half of it because we won't want to do so much of this. But just making sure all that lovely ink is going through. So that's our sticky ink. Take that out of the way. And then I'm going to just apply this directly. So I just want to go all over here. Don't want to lose too much. We might as well just empty the whole tub on the top. And then I'm just going to bring in another piece of card because we want that. Oh, it's sticking to everything else. Going to bring that to one side just to make sure that's covered. And then we're going to bring that to the other side. Making sure we have all that. Give that a tap off. And then I'm just going to clear that up because I know exactly what I'm like. <laughs> That's usually when I get the sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we've covered all of that and I've still got a whole tub full. So it's going to last you so much. These little tubs are amazing. And then we're going to bring in our heat gun and then we're going to give this a blast. Now, some people like to go underneath uh, and heat it from underneath. And actually, I think there is a little bit of truth in it makes it smoother but because what you're doing on the surface, you're blowing some off maybe, but I don't really see very much difference and it heats quicker on the top. So each, each to their own, whoever wants to do it, whichever way. So we're just going round here, picking up all that heat embossing. Don't spend too long on it. When you're heat embossing, just follow it. Once it starts going shiny, once you start seeing it change, I would then um, just keep moving on. And it does get quicker because when one piece is heating, it's then already starting to heat the next. So just following that round. I mean, how gorgeous is this design? This should have balloons on it. It's almost like, um, it's almost like a um, party, you know like the party confetti. poppers, yes, yes. like when you do like the party poppers, it's yes. such a happy swirly design. So yes, just heat embossing, and you can see it doesn't take long to do at all, but what we've actually done is created a beautiful background which is amazing. You could sit and literally create all these different backgrounds with all these stencils which really is amazing. Yeah. I don't think I could be without stencils and I was so thrilled when they brought out the 8x8 ones. I can't even tell you how many different things you can do with them. They just look incredible. And then with these gorgeous embossing folders, you're going to get, I mean, look at that. It's so oh, luxurious. Amazing. Yeah, they are amazing. And we're going to be really doing cool. some of our flowers in the upcoming demos now. Uh, and we can start adding them to these gorgeous backgrounds. Oh, thank you so much for all of those demos. It's amazing how much you can do with these, really, isn't there? And um, it's wonderful that you're able to kind of be inspired by how much they can do. If you do want to grab your hands on them, they are your large pattern stencil collection. And what we're bringing to you is the eight different elements. So you're getting the three, of course, that you just saw the lovely Debbie working with then, but you are getting the extras in there too. In fact, you're getting everything that you currently see on your screen, eight in total. So the size on these ones is 11.75 by 11.75 inches. So they're nice, big and bold. And again, as you can see, there's plenty that you can do, including the section here, which is embossed. And I know it might be hard to see just because of the lights in here, but you should be able to hear that you've got that texture within there. So they're really work workable and versatile. Loads of different ones, your natural stone, your falling hearts you've got. This is the one that Debbie's just done with. Isn't it cool that actually you can see that one that's been inked, but actually the one that Debbie did when it was embossed, totally different feel, hasn't it? This one feels a little bit more sort of, ooh, I'm on holiday. Whereas uh, Debbie's felt a bit more like, wow, I'm on a 
party! Um, so again, it's versatility, isn't it? Dots and spots uh, we've got for you in there, and you've got your deco tiles, as well as your Chesterfield leather, and this one, which I love, your Moroccan tile. All of those in there, given the size of them, because they are gargantuan, as you can see, given the size of them, but also the versatility, you have got £47.94 only on those, and that's a saving of nearly £16, or a saving of nearly $20. So if you would like to work with them absolutely do there's loads of you who have been talking about these stencils and um, Susie T's in saying wow that looks awesome that was to do with the sort of tongue and groove one that you did earlier on uh, Laura's in saying I bought those stencils even though I didn't buy the Gemini Pro I knew they were useful away from the machine and they really are, aren't they? I think you've shown that beautifully. Lynn's saying, great demos, Debbie. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Tracy's asking, can glycerin only be used with water-based inks or can it be used with alcohol-based inks as well? Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't shift with alcohol. Alcohol, you uh, actually need um, the isoprano, asoprano, is it called? Asoprano? Asoprano? Sure. Isoperpanol. I think that's what it's called. It's getting my tongue tied. Isoperpanol, yes. Uh, which uh, is, is another, it's, it's, it's alcohol. That's what it is. So you mix it with other alcohol. So no, it would only work with, um, uh, it would work with anything more watercolour yeah but not alcohol perfect thank you we've got um a detour i want to say in saying these stencils would be great for scrapbooking pages i totally agree oh fred i love this idea hey you've been on the ball with your messages in today fred you've had loads of ideas you could use fabric paint with the large stencils and design your own t-shirts and bags wow i love that idea yes and they're big enough to do that yes. you would fill a whole front of a bag yeah Perfect. Imagine doing like maybe with the heart ones, personalised, you know, um, uh, bridal, you know, tops mm. maybe for when people are getting ready, or like a fun Hindu bag, for yes, example. Yes, they'd be amazing. Um, yeah, we've got loads of you in. Um, uh, Teresa's saying, I used to do the tea bag folding and I loved it. Yeah. Uh, Randa's in saying, I just gave a class in tea bag folding. Hey, nice work. Aisha's in saying, this is a new technique for me using the stencils. I haven't seen it before and I really like it. Oh. Brilliant. Yeah. Please, honestly, get yourself some stencils. There is so much out there uh, from us, from other companies, on YouTube, on Facebook, everywhere uh, with stencil techniques. Honestly, they are, for me, the best thing in your crafting because they add so much depth, mm. add those backgrounds, add all those beautiful techniques that you can do. And they get you really crafty as well. That's wonderful. It really is. So if you have put some of those things into your basket, I'm going to give you a moment or two to check them out. And don't forget that if you are making at home, maybe you are colouring in, maybe you've got a, even if it's you know a crochet project, whatever you've got on the go, do feel free to take a point of view photograph. So grab out your phone, take a picture of your work area. If it's anything like mine, you might have to uh, stand up on something just to get it all in. Um, but yeah, do feel free to take a picture and send it in. We'd love to know what you are up to right now whilst you are there sending in those pictures let me show you this about how you can get involved with club inspire welcome to club inspire our free loyalty club as a member of the club you can save up to 20 percent every time you shop with us for every pound you spend whether it's in one of our stores or on our website you'll collect one loyalty point the more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership where you'll get 10% discount plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points you'll become a gold member which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. 
when you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money-saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. Become a member of our club today. Hello, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. How's your day going? I hope you're having a great one so far. If you're ready to be inspired, oh, you're in the right place. Lovely Debbie the Fish. Fisher is with us today and she's going to be crafting up a storm even more shortly and one of the demos that we're going to be working with is based all around these. This is your birthday month floral stamp. Now what I want to sort of make clear with these is it's not technically to do with your birthday. These are not just to make birthday cards. When we say birthday months what we mean is that you have got a different flower that is connotated to each month of the year. A bit like your birthstones. So dependent on the month you're born in for example if you're born in January then your birthstone is garnet February amethyst etc etc it's the same with flowers so let's go through these and show you these months of the year florals which you can of course use not just for birthday cards but just for how are you getting on cards because a lot of them are related to the month anyway so in January, we start with our carnations, one of the best known and most colourful flowers. In this one, you're going to be getting the flower stamps themselves, as well as some lovely little sentiments, including, but not limited to, good luck which is great for the start of the year, isn't it? I don't know about you, but um, sometimes, you know, New Year's resolutions, you could do with a bit of good luck. As well as that, I've got for you February. It is your primrose that we have here. I really like this one. It's very sentiment heavy on these ones. So you've got real large verses. And there's some in here, for example, here comes spring and um, just for you, that are actually the perfect size to go inside your aperture stamps that I launched for you earlier on. So these could be a really good pairing if you manage to get those. March, of course, it is your daffodils, because that's when the daffs come out, right, generally? You've got your daffodils on that one. April is your daisy or day's eye, if you will. That's where the name comes from for a daisy. And that's because they um, because they close at night time. Sorry, my British just gone, what? Uh, yeah, the name daisy comes from the word day's eye. I do know random things. Um, yeah, it comes from the word day's eye because they um, they open in the morning and they close up at night. So that's why it's called a, a day's eye. That's where its name comes from. Um, as well as those, you are getting your May Lily of the Valley. I love the scent and fragrance of Lily of the Valley. And I quite like the idea of doing something with this, um, even if it was, you know, using fabric and, and recreating that design or maybe doing it onto a sort of a blotting style paper and actually putting putting a fragrance with it of Lily of the Valley. That could be really cool. Rose I've got for you in June. Of course, depending on what colour you make the rose, it will mean different things. So if you want to go for friendship, maybe you want to use a yellow. If you want to go for admiration, then of course you want to go for a dark pink. Purity is a white rose. So you can colour this depending on what you want to create. I've got your delphinium here. Really wonderful family of flowers is delphinium because there's so many different colours. So you can have full with that, especially if you've got your tri-colours. August is all about your gladioli or your gladiolus, if you wish. I really like the colours that they've gone for here because it almost looks like a phoenix flower. You could actually do something maybe mythical phoenix related to it, um, especially if you're into Harry Potter and the likes. As well as that, I'm bringing to you your Aster. This is September. Um, your Aster is um, a really interesting flower. It's actually randomly part of the sunflower family, um, which means that you, again, they give you a really big, bold look. So you can use these in loads of different colours um, if you so wish. And my producer's giggling. Where does all this come from? 
I, I don't know, it's just stored in my brain. <laughs> I've got your marigold as well in here. Your marigold, of course, is going to be created for October. And what I like with this one is, can you see this detail here? October, it's Halloween, isn't it? Imagine, you know, sort of interesting, spooktacular dates on that. You don't even have to use it with the flower if you don't want. Chrysanthemum, try saying that without your teeth in, is on coming up for you in November. And again, you get lovely little stamps here. I could so imagine putting a special date in there, maybe for like a wedding. You know, it could be the date of a wedding or whatever. And last but by no means least, you've got your poinsettia and this one of course that wonderful 3d effect which just signifies the festive season all of these you are going to be getting a full year's worth of delight and this is what i mean when i say to you earlier on that it's not necessarily about birthdays my grandma and granddad only live down the road from me but my grandma is my she's a pen pal even though she only lives about you know half an hour down the road from me we write cards to each other every two weeks just to keep each other in the loop really I can imagine at the change of every month to send some of these and just put a smile on her face. And then by the end of the year, she'd have a January to December collection of lovely hand-painted cards. You could do that for your friends really easily, always raising a smile. And you're going to be doing that and having fun whilst doing it for just £146.77 or $172.36. So you are saving nearly £60 or nearly eight, $70, sorry, nearly. So you're getting a massive discount there. If you fancy a year's worth of creativity, that's the one for you. And if you fancy being inspired, I've got the lady for you. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I've decided that you are Belle, Princess <gasps> Belle. Oh, how come? Because you are just so intellectual. You read. You must read loads of books like Belle does. Very, very bright. Aww. Honestly, I, your knowledge on things is incredible. So yes, you're my new princess. You are. You are Belle. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so earlier we were saying about um, Disney princesses, and uh, it's because uh, I was going to say Belle reminds me of. Um, <laughs> Becky reminds me of a Disney princess. She's just, she literally is a Disney princess. And I thought she was like Jasmine, but I've changed my mind. We've changed she is, our mind she is, the day. She is Belle. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I need to show you this book because it's incredible. We won't go through it all because Becky's just showed you all those balls, which are, are amazing. But we have a birthday book here. Can you imagine doing something like this? I'm going to move it over so you can see it all. Put in all the dates of every birthday that's in there with that stamp that represents every single month of the year. Uh, I know this is quite an outlay for the cost but it is so worth it when you are getting all these different flowers to be able to create things like this. Gorgeous. To create every single Aww. month with a new flower in a different colour all the way through right from January to December. I just adore every single one of these and what you can see from these they create the whole focal point to a card. Mm. They just look incredibly beautiful and then I'm going to end on the one that we're going to start our demo with because I absolutely adore daffodils they were my mum's favorites oh, uh, and they're just the thing that really introduces us to spring isn't it Agreed. to summer to it just makes us feel really fresh really bright they are gorgeous flowers uh, it's just a shame they don't last very long so you definitely need the March stamp because then that will last you all year round yeah. so I'm going to bring in my stamps we've got that really large daffodil stamp uh, and we're going to use this onto our card what I'm going to do is bring in my platform uh, and what you'll also know about these is not only do you get the stamps you then also get the coordinating dies nice. that cut them all out which is amazing so like Becky was saying with these signs and everything that you can do you can use them all year round for any occasion Halloween that one would have been perfect yeah. for just such a good one to have that's it's almost like a script like a scroll isn't yeah. it so really beautiful so we've got this again I'm bringing in my flagstone my waterproof ink die which means that I can use my tricolor and not have any problems with any bleeding at all so we're just going to make sure I like to turn my stamp because I always think you have a different pressure uh, on each part of your fingers as they go down so I like to make sure that we have fully covered that stamp 
and then we get that beautiful, I mean, look at that. It's just amazing, crisp image, which is incredible. I'm going to bring in this. I've chopped this down, so the bit that we did earlier yes. when we inked with the glycerin, uh, and I'm going to use that beneath on my card. So what we're going to start off with, I'm bringing in my pens. Let me take this off my board. Pop that over there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to use both pieces to start with. So I'm going to put a little bit of our pink. So this is the rose pink uh, and we're using it with the jasmine. And I'm going to use the yellow. And what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to bring in my little pot of water, just dab away my excess and I'm going to mix them together. Because what I'm creating now is an orange colour. So, and actually I think that could do with a little bit more yellow. So let's just add a little bit more yellow into that and just a touch of water, that's it. And that's giving me that beautiful orange that I can then come in and paint our stamen or the inside of our, uh, our um, it's gone out my head. The, uh, the, daffodil. the trumpet. Daffodil. The trumpet <laughs> I was actually daffodil. just thinking of daffodil, yes. Yeah. So, um, and it just totally went out my head. And then we're gonna actually just paint our, our yellow. So, uh, so George is saying she's thinking of Alice in Wonderland. Is that because of the trumpet, blowing the trumpet? Because they have, do you remember there's that section where she goes into the garden or the forest and the pansies and all of the, they sort of talk to her. Do you remember that bit? Yes, I Just do. Just before she meets the caterpillar. Yes, of course. <laughs> you can put googly eyes on them if you wanted to go down that route. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> I mean, that would make someone smile, wouldn't that it? That certainly would. <laughs> I've oh. never personally seen in a shop flowers with googly eyes, so maybe it's a new niche. Maybe it is. Did they ever have them? I remember you used to have ones you put in the car and the sunlight used to make them uh, rock backwards and forwards. Yeah. Did they not have eyes on them? Yeah, I think they did. <laughs> yeah, they did because they're, they're, what are these called? Leaves were kind of the hands, weren't they? And, and yeah, it interact from the solar. Yeah, I remember them. <laughs> they were lovely. Yeah, they were. <laughs> Right, then we're going to have our green, so let's bring in our green. Actually, let's use two colours there. That one, I think, is more the, uh, the colour that we need. But what I am going to do is take that darker one to start with, and we're going to just do this around the ashes. The ashes. It's, you know what I said, ashes, because Please I wanted to say a, ch a chew. Because some... <laughs> because... <laughs> Um, in my ear, someone went to say, bless you. Yeah. And, I, and now I can't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> it come out, it come out, it come out, issue. <laughs> was it edges and a tissue? Edges and a tissue, right. yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there, Becky. No, no, me. How bizarre. That's a new one. It certainly was. <laughs> So just bringing those colours in. I mean, it was so quick to colour with these, which is amazing. Yeah. And then another little tip. So can you see I've done a little splodge on the end there. If I just popped some water, so I'm just going to put some water there, I can then just blot that out. So just blot that in and look, disappeared. Voila. Go away. And that's the, that's the reason these are so forgiving. The reason they're so easy is because you can literally faux bleach with them, do different backgrounds with them. So much that you can do. So I'm just going to literally blast that a little bit and then we're going to cut this out to show you how the uh, dyes work just beautifully around the edges. So you don't need a heat tool for this, just in case you are new. It's just to speed up the drying that's process. That's right, yeah, here. absolutely. And it really doesn't take long to dry it. It's just that I don't want to put something wet through an electric machine. So we're going to then bring in our... Uh, I just had them, Becky, there they are, that they're hiding. And not that that's going to put any problem on, but it's always safer, isn't it, not to do that. So let's just put our dye on. I'm just going to get myself a piece of tape to take that down. And then... Just, now what's great about these is you can actually see the black lines on the inside mm. and I love that because I think it's really good to be able to um, to see where Line you're cutting, up. that you're getting an even edge of white all around the edge. Yeah. So getting that onto my Gemini plate, 
putting my boards on top and running that through. So as with any uh, thin metal die, you just need your cutting plate, your die and your paper, then your magnetic mat, your plastic shim and your top plate. So nice and easy. If you've got any other die cutting machine uh, in your stash, uh, just uh, refer to your user manual for the die cutting. So there we go. Now look how crisp that has cut that out all around the edge and we've got that beautiful topper, which is amazing. So you are getting other embellishments in there. You're getting your uh, little signpost. So what I have done, I'm going to bring this one in. I've just created from that stamp set. Oh. So here you've got the frame that actually fits into that die cut. Mm. And then you've got the sentiment that will fit into there. So send in smiles. We're going to pop onto ours oh. and then pop those back. Yeah, really nice designs. And to think this is just one of the sets, you've got another 11 in here. Uh, and actually, you don't even have to use them for that birthday month flower. It's just that that is the actual birthday month flower. But if, yeah. if you know someone that loves daffodils, but their birthday's in October, there's absolutely no reason that you can't send them send a card her, with course. it uh, in October. Uh, the choice is absolutely yours. But I love that that's been planned out really, really well. I'm quite lucky because my my birthday's in June uh, and I've got the rose and I just oh, adore roses. I love nice. white roses. Uh, they're probably my favourite. So uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to bring in, I've used, because it was a nice vibrant card and we've used those yellows and oranges and greens. Uh, and then we've done that sort of background as well, which I just love. It just all tones in together. Right. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, what's lovely about this, this is like one of those, um, they, what, they, what is the why? They, is it like chicken, chicken wire. wire? I was thinking that before. Yes. Yeah. And actually you think, uh, when you look at it, you think, how can you make something pretty out of chicken wire? But actually it's such a beautiful design when you put different inks. I mean, can you imagine an ombre of different colours going through that? Almost like a sunset looking through. It would just be so beautiful. You know what it almost looks like too, especially in the colour you've done it in. Like mm -hmm. you imagine adding glitters and things. Almost oh, like yes, a close-up totally. of a mermaid's tail. Yes, you're you know right, I mean? it like does. The scales of a mermaid. Yeah, tail absolutely. Yeah, I love that idea. So we're going to matte and layer this piece onto our yellow. And I've just done a really thin border just around the side. So we'll just then bring in our tape pen and just run that round. So if anybody is uh, crafting along with their tricolours, we would love to see your pictures. That yes, would be yes. amazing. We have had some in, actually. Oh, we'll lovely. Bit. Yeah, I love that. And let us know what you think of our um, Colour Me Happy shows, uh, because they seem to be uh, loving them. Everyone seems to love the Colour Me Happy. I think they're probably the most relaxed shows, yeah. um, because everyone is getting so comfortable in colouring. Yeah. I think since lockdown, and I'm not talking about just um, us on, the, on your screens, it's uh, you out there. I know everybody yeah. is getting just really good at their colouring. I'm seeing so many pictures that look amazing. That's bad. So I've just got some cardstock that I've used out of our 12 by 12 paper pads. Popping these onto the front. And then we're going to just make this into a Z fold card. So popping that on. I've then got another one of my nesting dies. So we've used that. I've then used a uh, nesting die on the front just to create our topper. So let's pop those together. What you also could do is, um, in fact, I might do it, I might just use, we could have used our sparkle pen. So should we just add a little bit of sparkle yes, to please. our flower? We always like to have a bit of sparkle, don't we, Becky? We're, we're Disney princesses, you've got to have sparkle. Which one do you think you'd be? Oh, me? Yeah. Um... Wow, I don't know. I'd not even thought about that. I've never really thought of myself as a Disney princess. No. Um, You've definitely oh. got a touch of the Disney princess about you. For sure. Oh. George thinks you'd be Sleeping Beauty. I definitely wouldn't be Ariel because I cannot sing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful, that. <laughs> Yeah. That's 
V. That is so what, me. Fiona from, Fiona Shrek. from Shrek. Right. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Apart from it's not Disney, but yeah, um, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think she's a she princess. She's still a princess. Yeah. And also, um, isn't it Gwyneth Paltrow in real life? Is that the voice? Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Diaz yes. even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see similarities. <laughs> Beautiful blonde. I need to think about that. Disney princess. I never even thought about myself. It's just you're such a Disney princess. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I think it's amazing. Oh, I've done that without putting. Why do I do that all the time, Becky? I jump ahead of myself. So I've got my little Z fold to put on the cross. It's called nice. a Z because obviously it's in the shape of the Z. So, and then we're going to stick these into place. So this one here, just popping this down. I'm trying to think of what Disney films I've watched lately because I do watch quite a lot of Disney films because my granddaughters watch it. Mainly, yeah. mainly Frozen, oh, yeah, uh, I have Frozen. to say. Yeah, Frozen yeah. is like on all the time. My little yeah. two-year-old Ava, she's two in a couple, well, next week actually. Oh. She uh, absolutely, and, and she adores Shrek as well. So Shrek and Frozen are her two things that she watches oh, all the time. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> that's lovely. Yeah, they're very different from each other and she loves them, absolutely loves them. Oh, oh Georgia says she hasn't watched Frozen. Oh, it's such a lovely film. Shocked such a that. lovely film. Okay, so let's put our, um, I'm going to put this daffodil onto foam pads. And then we'll pop this on. Have you got, have you got a favourite Disney film, Becky? <gasps> Um, I really like um, Rapunzel, Tangled. Yes, I really Tangled, like, yeah, I have to good. say. I think that's a really, really nice one. I just like it because it's kind of the characters in it are a little bit mischievous and cheesy, and I'm not afraid of that at all. Yeah, and not who at all. doesn't like sort of a um, slightly strong sort of horse? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Hiding behind all the trees and everything. I think that one's my favourite one to watch. It used to be Lion King, though. Oh, mine used to be Lion King. Yeah. Oh, I love, and I still do. I yeah. love Lion King. I mean, if you can watch Lion King and not shed a tear. <gasps> <gasps> oh, wow. I blub every time still. I know. It's very sad, isn't it? Especially Have you ever seen it live? Start. You know, uh, the no, life. I haven't, and no, I would neither. love I'd to. I'd love to. Yeah, I would love to do Me that. Me too. It's actually coming to Manchester, which is near where I live, so I might... Might see if I'll treat myself Ooh, this year. Oh, sounds yeah, I good. Yeah, think it's at the end of this year, well, next year. Mm. Yeah, I would definitely. It sounds that. amazing. Fancy that. Yeah, I'd love to see that. So there we go. I, I don't normally have my gems on and everything, but I actually think that really warranted it. Really to have adds that extra. beautiful background. Oh. I mean, look how gorgeous that I card is. I love that. So gorgeous. And that stenciling that you've done in the background has genuinely taken that to the next level. I love yes, it. Yes, totally. It really yeah, it really has. And actually, that really lends itself. It's almost like in the fresh air. You've got that chicken wire going on the background. Yeah. It's Yeah, it's so pretty. I love it. Oh, thank you so much for showing us that. If you would like to recreate it, let me go through again really quickly your flowers and their months. I am starting off with January. That's your carnation. I've got your February primrose. Primrose. I've also got your March daffodil. That's what the lovely Debbie's just created with. And you know, daffodils, they come in slightly different shades of yellow, don't they? So you could do different varieties, obviously, depending on how you colour them. I've got your April daisy, which includes um, lots of lovely sentiments, including after it rains make daisy chains which i think is really nice if anyone when they were younger or even older used to sit out in the park making yourself daisy chains that'll bring back lovely memories i have got you a lily of the valley collection here as well as that you've got your june rose i'm bringing to you your july delphinium and that one's got a really handy banner. That one I think is really useful. Of course, you could, you know, write names on there or important dates. I've got your gladiola here as well. We're also bringing to you your September asset that we've got here. Lovely detail on that, including but not limited to um, sentiments like you're a star. Now, come on, who of us out there have got stencils or stamps that are star related? You can use this with them, which is great. And we're also bringing to you October which is your marigold 
We've got your November chrysanthemum and last but by no means least, your poinsettia and that is for December. All of those you are getting in one place, all 12 of them, well 12 months, but as you can see, 223 different elements and if you do want to get them not only are you getting nearly 60 pounds saving or 70 dollars but also you are going to have day after day week after week month after month of fun coloring them in all you're going to need is things like your tricolors and that is exactly what i'm going to bring to you now the tricolors collection that i've got for you here is this beautiful range right here where I'm going to bring to you all of the sets and I'm bringing to you the storage. Actually, if you haven't seen the storage, I might grab it down. I don't know if I'm meant to do this, but I am a little bit of a mischief maker. Just to show you in case you've not seen them before, comes in your lovely Spectrum Noir. You've got your little opening at the back here. You could keep maybe other pencils and stuff. But just look at how much that holds in there. They're brilliant, aren't they? So you're going to get that in it. And you're going to be getting a real selection of your colours. So these are the colours that you're going to be getting in that pack. We are bringing to you your floral meadow range. Can you think of any flowers uh, from the birthday range that you might be able to colour in with these? Yeah, you'd be able to use some of the daffodil colours maybe. Do you know the um, Pantone colour of the year? Well, actually, Pantone, if you don't know who Pantone, by the way, are, it's a... Um, it's a they're sort of like the colour institute if you will they they select colours and palettes that go well together and they create their own colours and pair them and each year they have a colour of the year and this year we've gone back to a, a dual colour and one of them is called um, illumination and the other one is called ultimate grey and it's like a bright yellow and like a, a hazy grey and each year it's meant to represent something so the reason they chose those two colours this year is because they wanted to sort of bring out the, the foreboding of the grey but also light times ahead and when I look at this collection that's what I'm thinking of I've got that illumination yellow colour over here but then also pair it with the neutrals and I've got those grey colours so not only do they work great together they're also bang on trend £36 or $53 for all of these and don't forget that pack too. We have been mentioning the Craft Awards all day today and if you've not been able to tune in let me skim through what it is. We have got the opportunity to get some nominations in for the Best of Craft Awards 2021. There's loads of different categories that you can vote in including but not limited to your female craft personality of the year your ultimate gadget or machine you can also vote for the designer of the year the best brand of crafts and you can vote for the most loved uk craft chain store not only that but you can also vote for your favorite die cutting range and much more and one thing i will say to you is you cannot vote if you're in america i'm sorry about that but do feel free if you're in the uk to get involved and vote for those nominations if are open right now so if you fancy it do so we have got for you loads more to come up and do keep those photographs coming in we'll show some of them later i want you to send in a photograph either of your point of view what you're seeing right now in your craft area so just take a picture on your phone and send it in in this way or we'd like to see any designs you're working on maybe with your tricolors use any spectrum noir pieces or maybe some that you've recently finished we'd love to see them and share them and inspire them with the wonderful crafting community so you've grabbed everything you want you've got everything you need you've checked out your baskets fabulous if so we are going to carry on the crafting what are we up to next debbie well, first of all, I'm just going to bring these boards in again. Uh, I was just having to chop up at some of my um, bits that we did earlier, so I just uh, chopped this up to use Whoa. on the front of our card. Oh, that's that nice. was that, yeah, tree bark. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't mm. it? And it doesn't, it just shows you it doesn't take too long to dry. Um, so I've just got a couple of bits out of that, plus another bit, bit left. So, really, oh, we're just, uh, oh, 
I can't, can't. Do. There oh. we go. We're getting all a bit, um, everything Coupled. everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you the colours because these really do show all the colours that we've got in those beautiful tri-colour pens, which look incredible. But then being able to do those splodgy backgrounds, but turn it into something absolutely spectacular. This for me is doable for everybody. It is a question of just splodging on colours to this watercolour background and then just adding that tree which is not a bad thing to be able to do so really oh, yeah. gorgeous colors in them right so we've done coloring with them we've colored from the mat but what about doing backgrounds backgrounds are so much fun we can do so much with them so i'm just going to bring in let's bring in uh, bl the blue ones here so okay. we've got on this pen we've got our teal our aquamarine and our lake blue so we've got all our different blues in this one pen then what i'm going to do is bring in my card here uh, and i'm going to just take my darker colour and I'm just going to go round a little bit each side. Oh. Okay. Now the only reason I'm doing that is so I don't waste any ink. So I know that's my background I want to feel uh, and then we can start going in oh with God. just little bits of ink and what that means and I'm going to put more of the lighter colour because we do want the lighter colour. I'm just going to go round and we're not going to go, we're just going to stay in that line because it means we just don't waste any of our ink there. So popping that down, I'm then going to bring in my spray. So let me just grab my water spray. It's just our little spritzer bottles. They come, I think in either two or three you get in a pack so you will find them on our website and I'm just going to spray uh, down so it's watered down and then all I'm going to do I'm using watercolor cardstock the reason we use watercolor cardstock is it absorbs the water really well it's got a great tooth for the card and we're going to pop that just down into our image now if you wanted it wetter if you wanted to redo it let it dry or dry it with a hot gum uh, heat gum and then you'll get these different types going on here. We can go back in, so I'm thinking it's a bit dry around the edges. So I can then just water this down a little bit more and then we can just pop that into the bottom there. I'm gonna turn that round and put some more. So we're just filling that card all the time. And I love this effect because you get something different every single time. Totally so you get, unique. yeah, absolutely. And I'm just mopping up all that ink. And you could use this time and time again so you can get a different effect every time. Yeah. So in, I would not normally waste that. You would then bring in another piece of card and keep mopping it up until you've used your ink. Uh, you could also use, um, you can get rice paper which is really good for crafting uh, use a sheet of it to mop up all your inks and it will become really inky and then when you use it you've got a beautiful marbled effect it's a really Ooh, cool way of I using your of yeah of using your rice papers i'm hoping we'll start to get some in soon i think we may have had a few on the website but um yeah hopefully we will get more so i'm going to dry this off a little bit more so again just using my my hot hot air gum so drying it off, the reason I'm drying it off is I want to do some faux bleaching. Now faux bleaching works much better when you've actually dried your card. I mean that's got a beautiful mottled effect as it is. Mm. If you did want to leave it quite wet, you could add salt to it. And salt will make little water patches and you'll get almost like a coral looking background. Yeah. So lots of different techniques that you can do there. So just drying that off a bit. And then we will sprinkle some water. So I'm just taking the water. Some people do it with a brush. I literally like to dip my fingers in and just spit really. Well, sprinkle, not yeah. spit. Sprinkle, <laughs> <laughs> spit. Don't spit on it, I promise. Um, just <laughs> sprinkle your water on the top there. Now, the longer that you leave it, the more it absorbs that water. So I'm going to leave it a bit more so you start to see, and you'll be able to see, you can see all that mottling starting to come out mm. there because the water's being, it's like a, a suction. It just sucks. Those water droplets are sucking up all that water. And then when you put your kitchen towel uh, across the top and pour that off look Whee! at that we get just an amazing amount i like a lot of uh, water faux bleaching on there but you can do it where it's not too uh, so you don't have to put too much down if you just want a few droplets then just go easy with your water there we go yeah if you want lots of uh, lots of water suction then uh, yeah you'll be you'll be fine 
Okay, so we're drying that. That's dry, actually. That's not wet at all. We've dried all that. Got a beautiful background. What I am now going to do, Becky, is I'm going to bring in my scoreboard uh, and I'm going to bring in one of the dyes on the show because we have the amazing pop-out scenes. So I'm just going to come in half an inch with my scoreboard. I'm just looking for my scoring tool. There it is. I'm going to shut this one here. So shut this one in. <laughs> Do you know what? I've been terrible today for picking up words that say, said in our ears. Yeah, yeah. So they talked about the door. So then I said, you're going to shut this here. You're going to shut this here. <laughs> and then I'm going to go across. You're going to so, chew the edge. Chew I'm gonna, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to score at half an inch. This is uh, six inches by six inches. I'm going to come down then at five and a half inches. So each side. And then we're going to go into the centre. So I'm going to come in at three because that's half of my centre and then we're just going to fold that in place so in the middle I'm going to fold that up and then the side bits I'm going to fold up now I always put my score lines in before I die cut because when you die cut you will find that it will flatten your en your edges so what we're going to do then is I'm going to bring in which one am I using let me bring in my pack so you can see what I'm using so this one is the secret garden now what we've got here we've got an assortment of stamps which are really beautiful you've also got the embellishment stamps to go with the embellishment dies you've then got this beautiful die and that creates a pop out for the inside of your card so we're going to lay this down here going to bring in some low tack tape pull that out and stick that across now i'm going to stick it in the middle because that's going to cut out my aperture i'm just going to make sure that that is straight so i think we're about there we've got our little birdie and there we go i'm happy with that just pop that in the middle and then we're going to run that through our gemini and what that's going to do that's going to cut out our beautiful shape and also give us our aperture so running that through and because I'm using the Gemini Junior, it takes eight seconds. Eight seconds is nothing at all because it gets you then to doing the fun bit and creating your beautiful card. So bringing that one out, taking that out, and look at that, that's given us wow. this beautiful. And then what I've done, so uh, my finished one, I had the white around, so let me use my paintbrush. Uh, where did I put my paintbrush, Becky? There it it's is. It's just, yeah just there and I'm going to use a piece of kitchen towel so if I take my kitchen towel we can also do some faux bleaching onto here so I'm going to be quite put quite a lot on we're going to put this all around this edge and then we're just going to start to bleach that out because what I did before and I'd forgotten I'd left my dye in place and then done my background Okay. So I'd splodge that on first. I was trying to think how I did the white. You know when you're putting all your demos together and you're sort of like thinking what you can do. But because yeah. I didn't do that, I am just going to just faux bleach some of this out and that will make that more noticeable. So can you see Ooh. that's starting to come through now. So the more you do that, just go into there. And because we've got that beautiful watercolour card, that is going to take that out really lovely. But what you could do is cut that design out again, use one of your nesting dies, and then you can go round. So you can really see actually the whiteness is really starting to come out, if I pop this down here, yeah. come out around that edge. But if you wasn't to colour it and do this with it, you'd then have your pure white edge on there. So let's bring that one in. Uh, and actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this one because I want to put a bit of extra colour in onto it. So I'm going to bring in another one of my pens and then we're going to start by adding some colour and I want to use some browns. So we can actually do our little bird brown. Um, I'm going to, let me just put that onto the mat and we can paint straight onto him. So I don't want to make that more wetter. And just come down and do our bird. Let me dab some. I'm using up all my kitchen towel and I need some to dab my water onto. Uh, and then let's go for a uh, darker one for our fence. So we've got our fence at the bottom there. I mean, these are really fun to colour with. It's fab how quick it goes on. Yes. 
so easy it's why we like to work so you could color directly and blend out mm. but actually we all tend to work like this where we put it onto our glass mat mm. um, because it's so much quicker to actually get that color and lift it up and it's nice too because it, it goes on quite evenly sometimes if you go straight in it, it's it's mm -hmm. hard to get that even I find yeah anyway. totally yeah yeah absolutely so bringing that round and then we're going to use, let's use some of our purple for our flowers around the edges. So going around there and then we can just do something. Yeah, agreed. So pop that on there. And then we're getting a variation of colour as well because we're going, sorry if that pen's in the way there, I just suddenly realised. And then... Popping that around there. Oh, we've missed some on this side. It looks totally, totally different to when it was just blue and then when you... Yeah, you totally. It's just it's getting great. that different look that we yeah. can do that with. And then if we put that inside our card, so we can actually stick that onto the inside. So that will really make that pop as that comes out. And then all I'm going to do is I didn't do it on my actual demo, but because we show these gorgeous ones that we've got here, I'm going to bring these in. Mat this onto some dark card. Uh, tape pen. There we go. Pop that on there. And then I've got Hello Beautiful and one of our little butterflies and just some leaves here. And they all come out of that set. So we will pop that onto the front. And in fact, what I am going to use, I'm going to use my 3D glue gel because we need something a bit more stickier than the tape pen to stick onto our paste. Okay. So we're going to pop that onto the front. And then we've got our butterfly. But what I am going to do is I'm going to bring in um, this one here and just show you the variation. So what we did with this one was stencil through the actual um, piece. Uh, stencil through the stencil. <laughs> Ink through the stencil. Yeah, right, I'll get yeah. there eventually. Ink through the stencil. Just add that. Uh, ink through the stencil. And uh, so we could either have that one, which looks actually, I think, much better. I really like that one that's giving us that shiny finish. Or you can just ink through your stencil. And then the middle bit, if I open this up around here, we've actually got that butterfly that's coming out, dangling onto that inner pop-out piece. So yeah, just a really, really nice way to do it. And then obviously we've just done this one in darker colors with that pop-out piece. I just think you're going to have so much fun with these because I don't know if this is just me but there is something so magical and kind of reminiscent of childhood about pop-up cards, pop-up books. You remember there must be one when you were younger that was a pop-up book that you had that you absolutely loved. I remember I had one that was nursery rhymes and I was fascinated with them and I think cards like that would still raise a smile. So if you've got someone in your family or your friendship circle you think would love a pop-up card, let me show you in this collection the ones that you'd get. Um, that was a party noise. <laughs> no, 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 it was like a, what are them things called? A, they go like this. Yeah, 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 one of them. Yeah, it was, it was meant to be that. Anyway, this is your time to celebrate. Perfect for parties. Oh, do you know what this would be great with? You know the swirls stencil that we did in that collection earlier on? You know the swirls one that we said was like confetti? Yes. Or, or like, a, yeah, like, you know, again, the streamers. This would be great for that. As well as that, you have got the butterfly collection. So this has got lots of lovely ones in it, including flowers that would go with those launch aperture stamps we did earlier on quite well. I really like this one. Country village. This makes me think of like the Adele song, hometown. Do you know what I mean? Um, I live in Chester, which if you don't know Chester, it is a northwestern England uh, city. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. I can imagine this being Chester Cathedral and these are some of the uh, beautiful black and white buildings. But yeah, you could of course colour this any colour you wanted to mimic places you've been.
This one just makes me think of Bambi. Um, and it makes me think about, uh, you know, again, animals of bath and wood. Anything really that's inspired by kind of, you know, the great outdoors and, and animals that you might find in the wood. We have got for you Into the Woods here. It's also similar, actually, to Into the Woods, the actual um, musical, isn't it? I've not just got that, though. I've got your party vibes. Now, I don't know about you, but I am very excited to the time when I can meet up with my pals and maybe pop a few bubbles. These could be great if you are planning on having a party, maybe, you know, whether that be outdoors or you're planning one for a few months' time, you could send this on to people as invitations. That could work quite nicely. I've also got your home sweet home. Perfect for people moving house, maybe. Perfect for people who are uh, possibly, um, you know, updating their house. You know, a lot of us have been stripping walls and painting houses and, you know, doing it up a bit of a new life, leaf, lease of life. This would be great for those who've been doing all of that. I've got your enjoy the bubbles. So this is great if you have got uh, maybe a bit of a pamper session. Maybe you've got someone who's going on a spa day or you've just got somebody who you know deserves to kick up their feet in a bubble bath and relax. And then I've also got for you the go camping. For any of you who, like me, have got so many people who have got, you know, WV camper vans, etc., or have been going out to maybe foodie festivals or are planning on this a lovely one for them all of those you're going to be getting and as you can see there's a fair old amount in there isn't there 55 and 96 in pounds oh 69 dollars 65 that is over 10 percent saving that you're getting in there and yes you do get all of them so you don't even have to choose 92 elements in there in total that is with the stamps and with the dies there's loads of you who've been getting in touch it's really nice to see you. we've had lots and lots of people asking questions and things like that so i'll post some of them now um we have had Susie saying, I haven't used my tri-colour pens yet. Maybe I'll try these with stamps this weekend. Thanks for the ideas, Debbie. Mm -hmm. We've also got Sue in saying, those are beautiful card examples. They're fab, the ones she's making, isn't she? Um, I've got... Um, Aisha um, um, in um, saying, I really like that stenciled sheet. Um, and the way that you complete it and the yellow just really sets it off. I agree with you there. The layering of the colours and those different hues works so well with that daffodil particularly. Mary is saying, Colour Me Happy is my favourite show. It, I never fail to get new ideas each time. The demos are fantastic. Mary, you're not alone in that. Sharon also said, Colour Me Happy programme is my favourite and even set an alarm to remind me not to miss it. Well, ladies, I hope you are there crafting along with us. I have had a question in, um, and it is, um, when you were doing that final design, um, what type of a marker did you use? Was it alcohol or water? Um, the which one would you just do the this one here uh -huh. so in the center uh -huh. we use the watercolor the tricolor okay. yes thank you very much Rose is saying um, about the pop-ups loving this set and uh, Kate is saying thank you very much for your top tips throughout oh, the show today welcome Aisha's in saying I've ordered two of these last week the home and the bubble bath waiting for them to be delivered scheduled for Tuesday oh Aisha I hope you have loads of fun with those I'm absolutely sure you will and there are some people who've definitely been having fun and have been sending in pictures let's have a little nosy we're going to start off with Michelle who's in with us Oh, way up. That's the stamp we, uh, we were using before, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is. Yeah, that's beautiful. Love that. What a great way of doing it with that colour in the background. It's got a real nice modern edge. Yeah, it has. And it's got that gorgeous sort of blend of colours. Yeah, beautiful. I love that. Jennifer is crafting as we speak. Oh my goodness, oh. look at that. And this is for a bridal shower tomorrow. Wow. Oh, oh, I love that. Thank you for keeping us company. Jennifer, that is absolutely wonderful. I love that you're getting them for a bridal shower and they really do feel very, very happy. I hope that um, they are very much taken well and you have a fabulous day. 
we've got some point of view pictures and what these are, are what I'm asking to you what your crafting station is looking at right now <laughs> fun with the flower foam oh Look that was that that was definitely me the other day before I did my flower foam show yeah <laughs> that's amazing that's, that's exactly what I would say to do when you're flower forming do them all have a really good crafty session with your flower forming foam honestly you'll have a blast and flowers that last you ages to go on all your creations then that's brilliant thank you for that Pam is oh wow Pam you're working um, on a card at the moment and you can see that you've got those beautiful colours in there. I think that looks like a really nice, neat, tidy, calming craft area, Pam. I have to say it looks wonderful. Thank you for sending us that. Renee has been using the birthday flowers that we did earlier. Oh, Renee! I love that one. Oh, that is beautiful. That's our inverted nesting dies. They suit that so well. Really, they do. Rene has got some more for us as well. Oh, you're going to love this one. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh, that would just put a smile on anybody's face. Totally. It? Beautiful car. And I love the colourways in that. That green and white is so lovely. And we've got another Rene in with us. And this is a point of view of what's working on. Oh, is that a first birthday card? Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, how cute. Look how adorable. That, oh, my gosh. That's, do you know what I love with that? How you've gone kind of cutesy but also really textured with it. Wow, thank you so much for sending those pictures. I don't know about you, but as soon as I look at any of your pictures, I just think... I would need to craft it. It's so inspirational. So thank you for sending them in to us. So again, if you do want to seize the moment on the tricolored markers collection, this is the one that's got the 12 elements with the um, elements mm -hmm. and with the wallet that comes with as well. So you've got all of that usability. Debbie, I'm heading on over to you and you've been asked a question, haven't you? Oh, you're counting. Does anyone else, when they see someone counting, want to be really mischievous and go like, three, <laughs> seven, twenty-four? <12. laughs> yeah, totally. I, I'm saying that because that's what it was. <laughs> okay. so. so, yeah, so we've been asked by, who have we been asked? Dieta, what a lovely name, Dieta. So, uh, what did I say, 24? <laughs> 24 so uh, what I have done is because this has been made using a strip of card that is 24 centimeters uh, and if I do it this way so you can see each one of these mountain and valley folds uh, into centimeters and then your pages get added onto that so I hope oh that's brilliant thank you George um, what happens you would have it's not made from our album spines this this is made just so let me I'm going to demonstrate it rather than um, because otherwise I don't want to confuse anybody so let's just say it's probably not right but let's just say let's get a strip I'm just going to cut this down you would want a strip let me bring in my guillotine and let's just cut a piece of strip down what you would then do, this strip, you would come in on your score. This would be 24 centimetres. And then at half, let me turn it over so I've got centimetres on here. And then at one centimetre, you will then do your score lines. Two centimetres, three, four, five, six. And you'd keep going to your 24. So you've got a 23 lines you would put in. Then what I would do is come over and on the other side, do every other one. So when you do every other one, so we're going four, two, four, six, eight, ten. That way, when you come to fold in these, you are mounting and valley fold really easy mm. because the folds will be in the right place. And you will do that across your, can you see now, if I yeah. bring in the book. That concertina, yeah. You're doing that concertina on the top there. So that would be this part going in, so you can see. In fact, we've pretty much nailed that. So let me just pop that in there so you can see. Yeah. You would just do that 24 times and then you just attach each 
page Perfect. to that tab. I would make that a little bit bigger, so it's taller, so you'll get a thicker amount. Yeah. Um, but uh, so you, it that's goes down more. Yeah. But that's the gist of it. That's what you would do. So you can make that as long as big as you want. But 24 centimeters, and that obviously creates that's uh, a book in each page, which is 12 pages that you've got in your birthday book. So uh, yeah, which is ideal. Love it. Hey, thanks for that. Thank nice, you for that question. Nice and easy to do. That's absolutely brilliant, Alice. Thank yes. you for sharing us that. Okay. We are going to have to... Is it that time already? We are going to line up a demo of the show. Well, I think... We have we only done... Demo I think we've only day. done two, haven't we? Because we did the stencils. You did the stencils, yes. you did, but finished projects. So finished ones. So our finished ones were the daffodil. So we've got the daffodil one, and then we've got that beautiful um, uh, wood bark stencil okay. and the pop out. So if you could vote on which one of those you would like, number one for the daffodil, second uh, one for the wood grain and that pop-up. If you'd like to vote for your demo of the show, then we will vote on demo of the day. If you would like to be inspired and you're thinking, oh, they're wrapping up soon, eh? We've still got time to squeeze in another demo. Debbie, what are we going to be using or making with this one, please? Always time. I got out on my demo and I didn't get out my stamp, so just excuse me why I just find the stamp that I'm going to use, no which problem. is the gorgeous Daisy. Um, Day's Eye, I love that. That is just such an amazing piece of information that I <laughs> never knew. Uh, and my, my goddaughter's called Daisy. Ah. Um, I actually named her because we were all sitting around thinking of names and they wanted... Um, my friend Lou wanted um, uh, Samantha as a middle name, so we were trying to think of all these names that would go with go Samantha. With it, yeah. And um, I said, oh, I love Daisy. And they was like, Daisy Samantha. And it was like, it yes. It sounds lovely. That's it. She's going to be Daisy name. Samantha. Yes, so, uh, which is lovely. Is nice. So we're going to pop our daisies onto there. But I'm going to always now think of them as Daisy's eyes. I love that. There you go. <laughs> You remind me, what's that Susie Dench? That's who you remind me of. You're like the, the lady Susie Dench off of Countdown. And she, she's like the encyclopedia, isn't oh, she? the one who sits knows, in the corner. Yes. Yeah, I know who you mean. Yeah, she yeah, just knows I everything. Do. And it's like, you're just like that. You know everything. Oh, no, I know. Susie Bell. useless things. <laughs> <laughs> I love information like that. So there we go, we've got our beautiful daisy stamped out, which looks amazing. So we're going to pop that to the side. Uh, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, I thought I had my colours at hand, but I've just got them under here. I'm going to find, uh, this one is, now I am using an alcohol ink, which I wouldn't normally do, but I'm just using our FS3, which is sort of like a peachy colour. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to put this into the tips because I like to give these two sort of tone colours and then you can sort of blend out in a different colour. So just popping this down. These will dry out um, uh, lighter uh, on our card. We're using, because we are using our watercolour cardstock, but I am just putting it onto the tips. And I do have some finished ones, so I will just switch to those once we've done our first one. So just colouring these round putting those onto the tips of our flowers. And then what I'm going to do is bring in our um, uh, flame red uh, on the end of our sunflower and the marine. Um, and again, we're going to paint these, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this onto my mat beautiful colour and we're going to bring in our sparkle pen so this time we're going to pick up this pick up our uh, red and then we're going to go from the center and just flick out it's just given us a completely different variation of what we had and then blended with that gorgeous skin tone colour just makes them look beautiful so pop in all these in and then I will just switch to my um, nearly finished one. Just wanted you to show that from doing it from start to finish to create our flower. So when they dry, I'm going to bring these ones in. When you cut them out, they were cut out to these parts. And then what I've done, this one here, I've trimmed out 
from here because I quite like the idea of decoupaging. Ooh. So you can use these over the top. So I've just realized that that's probably more redder there than what this one is. So I'm gonna add some more red to the bottom part. I mean, you don't have to do the whole flower. I'm just doing it because I want you to show that's the part that we took from that flower yeah. uh, to use again. Uh, and then I've just got, um, oh yeah, and that's it. So, so I've just got a, I've not got nothing else. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so we've got our parts there and then just cut them out using that gorgeous die so if I bring those ones in bring in our die pack you can see again you're getting all these different stamps bring these over and I'm just going to show you them on a piece of card because then you can see them a lot easier this is the one that you've got that best friend in you've got the uh, with love daisy and then you've got all the different dies to cut them out I love that everyone has given you something so this one yeah. is a balloon I love that it's very very festival isn't it yeah. you've got the flowers at the top and you've got your balloon which looks amazing uh, and then you've got your balloon if I turn that the right way you've got your balloon one to cut that out as well so let's just pop these to the side all I'm going to do now is pop this card together and create our beautiful card whilst you're popping that together I just want to announce the demo of the show Debbie which do you think's the winner numero oh, uno or numero dos oh definitely one it's got to be the daffodil <laughs> it is the daffodil that is demo of the show so now if you want to vote for demo of the day let's pitch it against the earlier winner so let's uh, see the daffodil one first so should we make daffodil number one again just for ease so daffodil is one if that is your demo of the day get voting i here have got the earlier winner winner yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like the noise a horse would make. Woo! Oh, he's a wittier. Anyway, <laughs> you've got the winner from earlier on. And this is the butterfly easel that we did for you earlier. So one or two, get your votes in. And I'll let you know that in a bit. Debbie, I'm back with you. Okay, so let's put our card together. Uh, so I've got some little bits and pieces. I've got some acetate. I've created myself an aperture window. So I've just used my nesting dies to to create my mats and layers, put my pretty papers on top, create that window, mm. and then I've done the same with another one, so we can mat and layer these up. And then I've got my card at the base, uh, which we're then gonna create our beautiful easel card. So if I just fold those into place, everything will stick on top. We've got then our window and our mats and layers. So what I'm gonna do there, let me just, that's my little printout, show me what I was doing. We're going to stick these first pieces on. Uh, I've then got a window and my acetate. I don't want to forget that. We want to put that on, which is going to hold our card into place. Uh, tape pen. There we go. So pop in that in. Add in our glue. So is your journey home very long, Becky? Oh, just under three hours. Oh, okay, not too bad. So I'll be home probably about midnight ish. Yes. Well, just after, just after midnight. Yeah, I'm normally uh, near closer to four hours. Yeah. So it's normally about one o'clock when we leave and get home. But I've got I'm here all day tomorrow actually, which oh, is nice. lovely. Yes. Lovely. I haven't done a Saturday for ages, and uh, we have the uh, play, play your crafts right. right. Yes. Uh, and a game I've, we've not played before. I hear so. Um, are I'm you quite looking forward to it. No, Debbie. not at no. all. I don't, I don't, I'm not even quite sure. I think everybody is competitive, um, but I'm not, it really, I'm not really that competitive to worry ever about, no, about me it. Neither. Jan, I just heard that Jan's quite competitive. I never knew that. Yes, Jan is competitive, wow. but she admits that herself. When I played uh, Play Your Crafts Right with her, even before the show, she had to warn me that she was quite competitive. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I would never, and Jan's the one I would never have thought was competitive at all. Oh my goodness, could you imagine that? Georgina is saying that she would like to pitch who? Jan, Leanne and Craig against each other. Why is that? Because they're all quite competitive. Oh, I still forgot right, to do Right, they're all still competitive people. So forgot, that'd be a good I one. I forgot to put my window on. Look, aren't I a nightmare? That's probably my fault. I was distracting you. I'm sorry. 
I can't because um, I've put my easel card back on, which is what I was trying not to do. But <laughs> do you know what? I can, I can fix it. Of course you can. I can fix it. Yes, she can. <laughs> can she fix it? <laughs> yes, she can. Yes, she can. <laughs> Bob the Debbie Fisher. <laughs> Oh dear, right, so I'm going to trim my acetate because what I've also done is I've created a little frame so the frame will stick and hide the edges. Oh, There's okay. always a way, isn't there? Yeah, of course. Always a solution. So, let's pop that onto there and then I'm just going to use, actually, let me see if I've got, yes, we've got red liner tape. Best thing ever. <laughs> So, oh, it's a new one as well. I like Ooh. new things. Mm. Spoiling you. Yeah. I'm being spoiled. I've had a new tape pen today. I've had new, um, new uh, red liner tape. So I'm just going to, it would have helped to put a piece of card underneath so I could see where it was. <laughs> Let me grab my scissors. And just for quickness, we will just put two sides of that on and stick that to the front. That's our first piece and then our next piece and then we will stick that to the front. And there we go. There we go, won't notice. And then I've got, so I've cut out another frame. Oh, look at that. Oh, fit, hey, that's a fit great perfectly fit. over there. So let me just put that into place near and we've got a little bit there inside but that's fine we don't we're not going to worry about that are we no it's Let minute me bring this in and our dotty tape pen so it means i can then put our dotty tape pen all the way around the side without having to worry about any glue spillage and then we will pop this onto our acetate at the front so there we go, and that creates our gorgeous easel. Uh, and then I've got myself a little um, piece of card which I've cut out, and we're going to put a foam pad. I seem to be using foam pads more and more at the moment. I've be I'm becoming like Craig. <laughs> and then we're going to pop this in the centre. I'm just going to make sure I get that straight to hold. That's going to act as our stopper. Perfect. And then I've got a bow to put on the front there. So again, using our chunky glue. Or Keith said chunky glue. I shouldn't do that because Debbie calls it chunky glue. <laughs> 3D glue gel. Pop that onto the front. And then we can start putting our flowers, which are going to be put up like this and I've got two stamps here so I've put after it rains make daisy chains I like so, that yeah really love that and then we're going to get some more glue we're going to pop this to the top of our card let's pop that one up the top did you used to make daisy chains like in parks yes always yeah, always always and i never forget my eldest daughter i mean she's she'll be 28 this year yeah. um she uh, was always such a tomboy and there was only a week and a two day a week and six days between my son and, and my daughter's birthdays so they always had joint parties oh i see and um and i never forget one party i mean they were quite young but we remember they were out there we had a field outside the front and that we had a birthday party for for them and they were all playing out the front we had all the girls on the left hand side and they were all sitting and picking daisy chains and making daisy chains Aww. and there was poppy rough and tumbling with the boys in a big bundle on the oh, field uh, and I was way. like I wish my little girl would sit and pick daisy chains <laughs> <laughs> oh that's really sweet so let's bring that round oh, speaking but of sweet, there we go so how beautiful is that card just by using pretty papers but having that gorgeous oh and we haven't added the extra bit so let me just put some more glue on there and then we can start to use that as our decoupage over the top so I'm just going to get that the right way uh, is it that way? I think it's, can't see upside down. I'm going to have to turn it round, I'm afraid. Let me just find where, there we go. Goes right there. So then we create that beautiful 3D effect on our card. Oh. There we go. 
just magical and <coughs> genuinely lovely to see you kind of forget something and then fix mm. it because how often at home do we do oh, that? Oh, all the time. Yeah, all the, all the time. time. Well, I definitely do. <laughs> yeah, something interesting happens on, a, on you know, a soap or whatever. Yep. <laughs> you have to fix it. Um, thank you for showing us that. We have had our vote through for the demo of the day. The two choices were the daffodil from this show or the butterfly from the previous. Which do you think has won, Debbie? Oh, I don't know. I like both of them. I think probably the daffodil. Well, you are wrong. Oh, it's it the butterfly. See, the people love butterfly. butterflies. Yeah, everybody <laughs> absolutely loves them. It's awesome. So this is the one that's the winner. I will pop it up on the, uh, what is this called? Shelving unit. It's called the sh sh showcase. No. How many shoes does sh that have in it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember now. It's gone. What's the word? The cabinet. It's the cabinet of creativity. Oh, perfect. Oh, dear. That Ooh. was good. <laughs> no <will>. shushes in sight. <laughs> I will pop it up there in a little while. Um, we have got loads more to come up for you over the next few days. Let's have a nosy what's on its way. <clears throat> Tomorrow, it's Play Your Crafts Right. You're going to be joined with the lovely Debbie Fisher again. It's 12 p.m. UK time, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Play Your Craft Crafts Right, a great way to have a little bit of fun with creativity. We've also got a launch day. Oh, yeah, not just today, you know. And this one's taking place at 3 p.m. UK time. That's 10 a.m. Eastern. And as you can see, you have got one of your magical boxes to keep you entertained. So all of that is on its way for you tomorrow. Debbie, thank you so much for looking after me today. I've Aww. had a marvellous time with you as it's always. It's been lovely. I've had such a good day with my Disney princess friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, the lovely Debbie Fisher will be back with you tomorrow. I will be back with you at some point, I'm sure. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Keep on crafting. I'll see you soon, my loves.